So this is just a preview of the component blocks module. The component blocks module provides a bridge between the UI patterns module and cores layout builder. So the elevator pitch here is component blocks lets you use uh, your templates from a style guide or from a, another component pattern library without needing those templates in Drupal. So effectively you can have markup coming from somewhere outside Drupal and still use Layout Builder. So with component blocks, you get one block for each pattern you define. And what's a pattern? Well, the pattern is as defined by the UI Patterns module. So the UI Patterns module lets you define a series of patterns that correspond to patterns in your component library or your pattern library. Uh, so what I've got here is a site where I've installed Umami. Um, so demo Umami, and I've added a sub-theme of the Umami theme, which has got patterns integration. So what does patterns integration um, entail? Uh, I've got a theme here called UI Patterns Demo, I've got an info file. Uh, the only thing I've got in here that's special is I'm integrating with the components module and I'm saying that the namespace sum component comes from here. And so in this example, it's just a phony node module, uh, but it could be anywhere that you're cloning um, you know, a pattern library from. So let's have a look at what's in this phony um, node module. Basically, I've just got a source folder with some templates in here. So I've got a card.twig, and as you can see, there's three slots in the card, uh, an image, text, and title. And that uh, is what we have to then transfer over to our uh, UI patterns file. So inside our theme, we have a UI patterns.yaml, and all this is documented in the UI patterns module. But here we define that there's a template called a card, and it has an image field, a title field, and a text field. And we're just putting in the bare minimum here, which is a label and a description. Uh, and the key thing here is we've uh, got a use entry, and this tells us to use a template from somewhere else. So we're using from the sum component namespace source card.twig. And as you saw back in here, we define the sum component namespace here as mapping to this particular node module. So what does this look like in Drupal? So we've enabled this theme and set it as the default. If we go into our manage display for a card and we turn on layout builder, I uh, should preface that I've enabled the component blocks module. Yep. And that also enables the component libraries and the UI patterns module. So let's go in and turn on layout builder for the card and the display of a recipe. Um, and let's jump into layout builder once that's done. So by default, when you enable Layout Builder, it throws in all of the fields that were already configured. So let's just remove that. We don't want that anymore. Uh, let's add a new section. Let's just use one column. And then let's put in some of our components. So with the component blocks module enabled, each component shows up as a component block. Uh, we only had one component, which was the card, but we have two flavors on here because in the context of this Layout Builder display, we have two entities in focus. We have the current user and we have the node. If you were using this on a taxonomy term, you would get an option for you know, card with fields from term. But we're doing with nodes, so we have fields from content. So let's enable that. Uh, we don't want a title, so let's turn that off. And what we have here is three context variables, one for each of the things we defined in our pattern. So if you look back at our pattern, you'll see we had a card and this had uh, three fields in it, image, title, and text. And that's what we're seeing here, image, title, and text. So for each of this, we can nominate what you want to put in here. Now we've got fixed input, we could just put you know, a static string in here. We could also use tokens like no title, um, but we want to use our format as well as the tools that we have in Drupal. So for this, we want to use the media image. And once we pick that, it lets us choose our formatters. So let's go with rendered entity and let's use the square one. For the title, we obviously want to use the recipe name and we want to link that to the content. And for the text, we're just going to use the summary. So let's add that. And here we have our card being output uh, using that template. And the beauty of that is, yeah, that markup is all coming from our component library outside Drupal. So yeah, that's the component blocks module. Give it a go and let me know what you think.